Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Trinity Church in Juneau, Alaska, on this, the fourth Sunday of Easter. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Sheep may safely graze and pasture in a watchful shepherd's sight. Those who rule with wisdom guiding bring to hearts a peace abiding. Bless a land with joy made bright. In the name of the living Christ, I greet you. In his name, we come together in faith, hope, and love, and charity. Today is the fourth Sunday of the Easter Sunday, Good Shepherd Sunday. The living Christ is among those who love him. He is the good shepherd to all who trust him. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us come to God, trusting the tireless mercy which ever awaits us. God, our Father, we confess to you and to our fellow members of the body of Christ that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry. Forgive us our sins and deliver us from the power of evil for the sake of your Son who died for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead and will never die again, death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man also the resurrection of the dead. For as in all Adam all die, so also in Christ all shall be made alive. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The first lesson is from the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verses 16 through 24. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses to help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God and we, we receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. 
And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the spirit that he has given us. Here ends the lesson. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He lets me rest in pastures green. He leadeth me by water still. He restores my soul, restores my soul. Even though I walk through the darkest lane, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff protect and guide me. You comfort me, you comfort me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen to the gospel of Christ according to St. John. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. This is the Gospel of the Lord.
the Apostles' Creed. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in him shall never die. Therefore, let us tell the world what we believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. Let us now pray together the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, art in heaven hallowed, be hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, whose Son Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Shepherd of all, by laying down your life for your flock, you reveal your love for all. Lead us from the place of death to the place of abundant life that guided by your care for us, we may rightly offer our lives in love for you and our neighbors. Amen. Good Shepherd, source of innovation and perpetual faithfulness, guide us to the places where we should be and nourish us with the food that restores the human spirit. By your strong arm, subdue our temptations and override our foolish decisions, that we may find ourselves at home with you, even when we are in unexpected territory. To the enrichment of those who live and work around us, and to the glory of your saving name. Amen. Give wisdom, Lord, to all in authority, not only leaders of nations, but local communities, that actions and words are prompted by the needs of others, not personal gain that all might ask the question, who is my neighbor? And as seen through your eyes, want nothing but the best for them. Amen. Sisters and brothers in Christ, God invites us to bring our doubts and fears, our joys and concerns, our petitions and praise and offer them for the earth and for all its creatures. We pray for our church, for our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, the Nippon Seiko Kai. We pray for our bishop, Mark Latim, and his family. In this diocese, we pray for Christ Church in Anchorage. In this deanery, we pray for St. Michael and all angels in Haines. For concerns, we pray for Stanley Owen and the Owen family. 
We pray for those in leadership positions, especially our president, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials. For the residents of Wildflower Court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, and the Glory Hall. We pray for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for Leah and Kira, for Wayne, for Lucia, Lloyd, for Terry and Gail, for Brian, for Emily, Carol, for Brian B, for Bentley, for Raven B, Millie Jane, Myers Grace, and Diane. In Thanksgiving, we give thanks for the release from the hospital of Anne, who is over 90 years old and got better and has gone home. Lord, we pray also for the departed, for Ron Pearson, Phil Smith, Francis Martin, for all who have died during this pandemic. We invite your petitions and intercessions at this time. Receive these prayers, O God, and transform us through them, that we may have eyes to see and hearts to understand not only what you have done on our behalf, but what you call us to do so that your realm will come to fruition in glory. Amen. Be not dismayed, water be tied. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. Breast. 
God will take care of you. God will take care of you through every day or on the way. He will take care of you. God will take care. Time now for the additional prayers of the congregation. First prayers for birthdays. This week we are celebrating the birthdays of Dave, Matt, and Vanessa. Oh God, our times are in your hands. Look with favor, we pray, on your servants, Dave and Matt and Vanessa, as they each begin another year. Grant that they may grow in wisdom and grace, and strengthen each of their trusts in your goodness all the days of their lives. Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayers for anniversaries. It's Anne and Jim's anniversary this week. As I mean, many other anniversaries we're sure of. God of tenderness and strength, you have brought Anne and Jim together and led them into marriage. Let's continue with them now as they travel through good times, through troubles, or through changes. Bless their home, bless their partings and their meetings. Make them worthy of each other's best and tender with each other. Trusting in your love in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Prayer for travelers. Kim and Bill are traveling, as is Michael. I'm actually traveling. I'm in Spokane now with my mother and thankful for that. Lord God, our Father, you kept Abraham and Sarah in safety throughout the days of their pilgrimage. You led the children of Israel through the midst of the sea, and by a star you led the wise men to the infant Jesus. Protect and guide those who set out to travel and those who are traveling. Be with Kim and Bill, with Michael, and all those who are traveling. Make their ways safe in their homecoming. Bring us all at last to our heavenly home where you dwell in glory with your Son and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you for those prayers. I'm going to add a couple. You remind me in your travel that we have a number of folks in the parish who have not been able to travel to see their mothers. Uh, my Sarah is one of them. Jeffrey's another. We have a number of people, um, Kim and Bill, are about to do that. So I'm going to ask uh, for folks with the prayer book at hand to turn to page 830 and join me in prayer 49, and then we'll go over to page 831 in prayer 54. Let us pray. Look with mercy, O God, our Father, on all whose increasing years bring them weakness, distress, or isolation. Provide for them homes of dignity and peace. Give them understanding helpers and the willingness to accept help. And as their strength diminishes, increase their faith and their assurance of your love. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And for those we love, Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to thy never-failing care and love for this life and the life to come, knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. And uh, now, Lena, do you have any prayers to add or any announcements to make? Well, I want to say that this coming week is going to be a week of saint days and books. Mm. First of all, as always, go to trinitydudo.org, click on the Sunday bulletin link, and you can download the bulletin, and there's a calendar in there, and it will tell you what's going on, whether it's going to be in person in the sanctuary, or whether it's going to be on Facebook Live, or whether it's going to be on Zoom, or just what's happening. And that's always a good guide to tell you what's going on. But... I want to talk about a couple of them. One is that 
we have two major saint days this week. And as always, we will celebrate them on the noonday prayer of the day that they're being commemorated. And the first is Monday, and that is Saint Mark the Evangelist, you know, companion of Paul and writer of the gospel. So he's on Monday. And then on Saturday, it is Saint Philip and Saint James, apostles, of which we know very little but we celebrate them together because their relics were brought to Rome on the same day. So they just put them together that way. So that's kind of nice that they've got their companionship there. The other is books. And there are two book discussions going on this week. Tuesday night at seven, it's the Deanery Book Discussion of Cast by Isabel Wilkinson. And the subtitle to this book is The Origins of Our Discontent, and it talks about how there is a hidden caste section, caste um, system in the United States, actually in the world, that keeps some people down and push some people up, and it's a very intriguing book, so if you haven't read it, I urge you to read it. It's an Oprah Book Club selection, so, you know, it's got to be good, right? The other is Wednesday night, and this is our regular monthly book discussion. And there, we've been reading Divine Milieu by Pierre de Chardin. And this is considered a modern classic. I read it years ago. I need to bring it back out again and take a look at it. But it's all the sort of thing that how your spiritual life involves your participation in what's happening in the world. And it's, it's, it's a very interesting book, uh, if I remember correctly. It has some really deep thoughts to it. He's considered very much a modern spiritualist and theologian. So, you know, you can download both of those on Kindle. You can probably still get them out at uh, our side books. Uh, both of those book discussions will be on Zoom. The one for Southeast uh, Deanery the cast book, you can watch on Facebook Live, I think, if I remember correctly. So I urge you to go out, and you might want to keep in your prayers. The Southeast Deanery is this Saturday, and once again, for the second year in a row, we've got to meet by Zoom rather than meeting in person, and that's always a little more difficult, so keep all the Deanery delegates in your prayers. Thank you. You're welcome. Or maybe you had some more. Nope, I'm done. All right. Well, that's good. I I will say, I thought I was going to download uh, Chardin's book from Kindle, but what I got was not that book. I got the Cliff's Notes version. So beware of that one. If you think you're going to get it from Kindle, you may not be able to find it. And if you do find it on Kindle, please let me know where. Because <laughs> I don't much like the Cliff's Notes version but it's going to have to do for this time. So we're about ready to wrap it up. This has been a, a good service. Thank you for joining us. Go now with your trust in the Good Shepherd and let us love not just in words, but in truth and action. Believe in the name of Jesus Christ. and Love one another just as he has commanded us. And may God be at your side even in valleys of death. May Christ Jesus be the cornerstone of your life. And may the Holy Spirit abide in you and tend you with love and mercy all the days of your life. Amen. With the power that raises, that raised Jesus from the dead at work within you, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. And alleluia. And be sure to join us now for coffee live on Zoom. Bring your own. We'll see you there. <laughs>